So the first thing to know about the Hundred Years' War is that um, it was England versus France. England and France right here frequently had disputed territory um, that they fought over that was on this side of the English Channel and this side of the English Channel. You can see that they're being bordered by the Holy Roman Empire. Um, but at this time, we're not focusing on them. The Holy Roman Empire, as you remember, is when um, Christianity or Christian institutions started losing power to kings, queens, and monarchs. So in this section three of the decline of feudalism, we're going to find out how the Hundred Years War, which should indicate the length of the war to you, actually contributed again by giving more power to the people and giving a rise of democratic thought. Between 1337 and 1453, England and France fought a series of battles for control over lands in France. So right away, it's more than 100 years. This was known as the Hundred Years' War. This long conflict contributed to the erosion of feudalism in England and in France. English monarchs had long claimed lands in France. In the past, English kings had actually been feudal lords over these French fiefs. Sorry, fiefs. French kings now disputed these claims. So again, looking here, English kings are saying, this is ours because if you remember, the king might have a fiefdom in a different country. And now we're starting to be more precise about borders in this time period. And so France says, no, this is our area. Um, Philip VI of France declared that the French fiefs were part of Philip's own realm. He claimed they did not belong to Edward III, King of England. Instead, they belonged to him. War broke out in France. So this answers the first question, how did the Hundred Years' War start? What were the English monarchs claiming and what did French, the French um, monarch dispute? Early English successes. Despite often being outnumbered, the English won most of the early battles of the war. What happened at the Battle of Crecy demonstrates why. Crecy is here on the French side, on the other side of the English Channel, um, just inland. Two quite different armies faced each other at the French village of Crecy in 1346. The French had a feudal army. They relied on horse-mounted knights. French knights wore heavy armor. It was difficult to move when not on horseback. Their weapons were swords and lances. So if we look up... Um, A medieval sword, they were heavy, they were quite heavy. And a lance is we kind of think of with jousting, but they were also used as weapons and also long and heavy. Um Let's see. These weapons were effective only at short ranges.